I recently maxed my main account, but the fun doesn't stop here. My next goal is to obtain every untradeable, equipable, or cosmetic item in the game that I can possibly get. If you didn't see my last video, you probably should, but in case you still haven't or just don't remember it, I started Sepulcher and got my first piece of gear from the Sepulcher shop. The Hallowed Ring, which is extremely useful and I recommend everyone goes for this first. I know I've been saying it a lot, but just in case you're new here or don't already know, I've been moving recently. My boyfriend and I just got a house to rent and it's been a lot of work getting everything set up. And on top of that, I've been preparing to complete neat group Iron Man, so I've been tired and haven't had a whole lot of time to do Sepulchre. Sometimes I just log on to do floors 1 through 3 because 4 and 5 are just too intense, but I refused to end this video until I got full black graceful. It's still been fun though, I'm glad I started Sepulchre. So I have the grapple now. If you don't remember from last video, here's the order of items I'm getting. The grapple makes it so that you never fail the grapple shortcut, and also counts as a Sarah item. This should make Sepulchre a bit easier. It's been a few runs and I have 100 marks. The time has been flying by, I feel like I'm getting marks really fast now. Anyways, I'm next buying the Hallowed Focus. What this does is make it so that you never fail the portal frames. This means you no longer have to bring high level enchantment runes, and when you have it equipped you automatically use the lowest level enchantment spell you have the runes for. Pretty useful. I wanted to try it out in HD, but the Hallowed Focus pretty much looks the same. I'm not gonna complain too much, but it would be really cool if it glowed more in HD. 100 marks later and I can now afford another item. Here you can either get the hallowed symbol or hammer. It doesn't matter too much which one, but I personally decided to go with the hammer. This makes it so that you never fail or bend nails on the bridge obstacle, so you can use lower tier planks and nails. So I'm just using normal planks and steel nails now. I just forgot to show it earlier. You don't need to have it equipped for it to work. Also it doesn't work as a hammer outside of sepulchre. And last piece, the hallowed symbol. I chose the hammer first because I figured the mahogany planks and rune nails were more expensive than vampire dust. So what the symbol does is reduce the amount of vampire dust you need to sacrifice to the brazier obstacle. Normally you'd use two, but with this you only need one vampire dust per brazier. Fun fact, it can also be used in place of a holy symbol when using a prayer book. Now for the long grind. I have everything I need, all that's left is black graceful. Not sure of how many marks I get per hour, I have basically no concept of time, but it shouldn't take too long. I'm sure I can get black graceful before group Iron Man comes out at least. So each dark die costs 300 marks, and you need one for each graceful piece. There are 6 pieces in the set in total, so you need 1800 marks in total. But if I'm short on time or just don't feel like getting the full set, I don't need to get the cape. The agility cape or max cape acts in place of a graceful cape, so I'd only realistically need 1500 marks right now, and I could come back for the cape later when I'm at an AFK point on my group Iron Man. It really won't make a difference because I never wear graceful capes, like ever, but it is part of my max fashion scape grind, so of course I'll come back for it eventually, but we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll have a lot of time left to get it. First time getting a strange old lockpick, looks like it's worth 92k right now. 666 marks. Just hit 1k marks, just 500 to go.
Thank god it's finally over. I've been trying my best to make daily videos, so it's been kinda hard to do Sepulchre, but I managed to finish it just in time. I have decided to stop at 1500 marks and just live without the cape for a while. I'll come back for it someday, of course. Feels good finally buying these dyes, but now I need to buy another graceful set. I have enough marks saved up for one. And there it is, my beloved Black Graceful. I love this and I'm absolutely living in this for the rest of time. Unless Jagex adds Pastel Graceful, then I might switch it up a little. And I'm just in time for spooky season. Sorry, but I can't really tell how long it took me to get this because I've been doing so much other stuff. I've had to take breaks from Sepulchre to go record videos and do IRL stuff. And on top of that, I'm just bad at keeping track of things in general. Maybe one day I'll come back I can do money making videos on Sepulchre if you guys want. That way it's just an hour so it's easy to keep track of everything. I would show my loot but I've had to sell off some of it to buy bonds and you get a lot of runes from Sepulchre. I did however get 13 strange old lockpicks if that means anything. I haven't once looted the grand coffin or the coffin just before it. Yes I'm bad at the game but part of that was just not having time to really practice the lower floors but also I'm bad at the game. If I could give anyone advice about Sepulchre, it would be definitely take your time. When you're dodging arrows, you should focus on them first before any other obstacle. Take things slow if you have to, just learn things before rushing in. And just have fun. I guess I'm on to the next grind. So group Iron Man is coming out soon and that kind of means I'm not going to be playing my main quite as much. Don't worry my three viewers who actually care, I'm not quitting this series. This has been a lot of fun for me and I'm definitely not stopping it here. But I will be AFKing this account for a while. I have a few long grinds for my Max Fashionscape series that I can do while playing my other account. So I'll do those and keep uploading videos in this series whenever I can. Or heck, maybe my group partner and I I can continue this series on those accounts later on. Who knows? We'll see though. For now, thanks for watching the two videos in this little series. I appreciate you all and I'll see you next time.